the thing that drew me to the Bob Marley record is, you know, I'd always been a fan of, you know, I Shot the Sheriff. And, you know, I, admittedly, I discovered that song through Eric Clapton and then went back to Bob Marley. Um, but, you know, songs like that or Get Up, Stand Up were, were the ones that, that really, um, you know, grabbed me as a, as a young kid. Um, and then in 2011, 12, that whole, you know, blur of existence in my, my life, um, I was in a severe depression um, to where I, I was leaving my house one day to take my own life. Um, and luckily I'm still here. Uh, and, you know, I got to talking to Fred, um, John Fred's uncle from the Headhunters, the drummer, because um, he, had, he had been through severe depression as well. Um, and he's like, man, he said, go home, put on a Bob Marley record, go somewhere by yourself and just sit and listen. And I was like, all right. So I just, you know, got on my phone and got the legend record. I was like, you know, it looks like a great list of songs. And I'd heard Three Little Birds before, you know, and but I'd never really taken it in. And I put the record on, <clears throat> and I think the first song I listened to was the live version of No Woman, No Cry. And it starts off, and, you know, it's just the music, and then you start hearing the crowd singing before Bob ever sings. And I immediately had chills everywhere, you know, just hearing thousands of people united through positivity and music. You know, I mean, I've, I've literally got chills now talking about it. Um, and then on to Three Little Birds and <clears throat> Exodus and Redemption Song and, and all that stuff, you know, Could You Be Loved and Stir It Up. And I just listening to that music, you know, um, got me to where I was just infatuated with Bob Marley to the fact I, I read books about him um, <clears throat> and to learn that, you know, the, the struggles he went through you know, being a mixed race child in Jamaica, being told he didn't belong there, you know, and, and all the all the torment and everything he went through, he found a way to shine a light of positivity through all that. And and the music did that to me in the fact that it made me realize, you know, life isn't about the, the negative things going on. Life is about how you bounce back from the negative things and shine a light to someone else. Anybody that's that's gone through a depression or anything, if you like Bob Marley or not, you can't help but smile when you hear a song like Thriller Birds come on. That that record is, is my go to record. If if I'm having a shitty day or if or if I'm having, you know, if I'm dealing with my depression bad, you know, missing home or or if I'm having bad anxiety, it's like I can put, you know, earbuds in or headphones and that's that's the way I listen to music is, you know, with isolation. Um I can put that on man and it's like I just go somewhere else. You know, and it, it literally takes you out of everything negative, for me anyways, it takes all the negativity that could be surrounding you and just paints a whole different beautiful picture, you know. She's my bad, 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 bad I got it bad.